Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are over in cold September and we're gonna be looking at some Town Hall 11 base identification. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching the videos and liking it, sharing it with your friends and your clan mates. If your clan has Town Hall 11s, I'm gonna be bringing you some content. Uh, the next video I'm gonna do for base identification is gonna be for Town Hall 12s. So if you're a Town Hall 12 and you're watching, just sit tight. I promise I'm coming. I, I have a lot of focus on the Town Hall 13 scene right now. So this is not my uh, primary focus, but I'm going to continue to bring it to you guys. It's just not going to be quite as often. Now, if you are a Town Hall 11 and you're looking to get into the competitive scene, we are definitely recruiting Town Hall 11s in cold September. Uh, bring your A game though. You know, you're competing with some very, very good 11s in this clan. And uh, if you're looking for a spot, you're going to need to come prepared. Make sure you're ready to show your stuff. The link for the Discord will be in the bio, or not in the bio, in the description of the YouTube video. So whenever you, you know, if you decided that's what you want to do, go ahead and click that link and it'll bring you to the recruitment server and the, uh, the recruiting team will get you squared away. All right, so today we are going to be looking at two replays from Thunder. And Thunder's clan leader over here. It's a really, really good guy. Uh, great clan leader in my opinion very very talented player as well so it's always a it's always a boon to any clan when your clan leader is not only a good leader but he's a good player so big shout outs to thunder we're going to be taking a look at his attack on this base first so we're going to take a, a look at two of his attacks and we're going to kind of break down the base and the reason why he's using what he's using Today's focus is going to be on Mass Miners. So Mass Miners used to be something that was very, very popular at Town Hall 11. Kind of faded away though with the uh, introduction of the hybrid being so dominant. Siege Barracks with those Max Hogs. I mean, it makes sense. Town Hall 11, you can get, you know, really good value out of your queen, especially on a, you know, a nice healthy queen charge. And you can also get really good value out of those Max Hogs and supporting those Miners. So it makes sense. But... Thunder here is going to be showing you that, you know, sometimes when something is really reliable, you don't really need to teach the old dog new tricks when it works, right? So, first thing we see on this base, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. First thing that jumps out to me is all this dead space. I like exploiting dead spaces, in case you guys didn't notice. So, go ahead and mark out everything in this base that I think is exploitable. The next thing we need to highlight is where is the high damage areas. So obviously the Eagle is high damage, especially at Town Hall 11, but you have this kind of like a, almost an L. Yeah, I guess it's a decent L. It's almost like a boomerang. These are all your Expos and your Queen, all in the core. So not only is it high damage, but it's high hit point. Okay, so high hit point buildings, kind of a pain in the butt for miners. But if you can get them all packed up underneath the heel, they're really not an issue. Especially if you have a way of taking care of the eagle. So, with the dead spaces and our high, uh, let's call them high impact areas highlighted, let's go look at how we can exploit it. So, this is a cleanup attack. And Thunder realized that he could use an E-Dragon to get some really good chain value out here as a funnel. He can clear all this stuff with just an E-Dragon. Very, very good value. A lot of storages out there, the Town Hall out there. It's going to use some Super Goblins and whatnot in conjunction to kind of make it hurry up because E-Dragons are pretty slow. But that's how he's going to attack the top side of the base. Now for the bottom half, let's go ahead and say Heroes, King and Queen. Kind of clear... A lot of these trash buildings as well as the queen reaching over and getting a bunch of the inner ring so we'll just mark out kind of what we're looking at here all right so with the dead spaces marked off and what the queen and the e drag and the king are all going to get you can see we, we're starting to like form our base up right what what's what's it going to look like when we need to bring the second wave of our attack in also this cannon just go ahead and take all these out. So we could start seeing a channel here. However, this channel is still 
rather large, especially if you're doing something like a queen walk on the outside because you're only going to have, you know, 20 something, 24 miners or something like that. So that's still a pretty, pretty rough area for 24 miners to clear. Uh, probably too much in general for them to clear, especially with the two back end multi infernos kind of split off in these island compartments. So if you're going to do something on this base with miners, if you're not going to charge deep into the base, then you're going to have to bring like 40. Okay. So you're also going to have your seven support max hogs and you're going to have to figure out how you're going to bring those in. And Thunder is actually going to do something very smart here. He's going to recognize that this is the kind of area that he wants to have his troops come in. So this is the, the channels. Because there's always more than one channels with mass miners. You're kind of opening it up to what would be two heal spells needed. So it's almost like a double wide. And he's going to bring in the stone slammer to go this way. And inside that stone slammer, which is going to get all these, he's going to have his support hogs. So as you can see, he's not only exploiting the dead space by keeping everything tight through here. But he's still tightening up the base on this side. Okay, he's getting an even deeper funnel. But this is happening simultaneously while his miners are moving through the base. So in a previous video, I said, you know, you're never really done funneling. You're always funneling even through your attack. And this is a good example of that. So what else makes this a good base for mass miners? Well, I can blanket this whole base in heals. You know, I'm not sure if this is actually how he uses this heals but I can blanket all my miners all 40 of them coming through here and they'll always be under a heel or a tome something you know something keeping them safe so these you know these expos and this queen and all that they're going to be locked on to miners but they're only going to be locked on maybe one a piece and under the heel that expo is not going to kill that miner and if it does you're only losing four miners as opposed to the 36 other ones that are just destroying the base so you're getting a lot of value out of those heal spells, kind of keeping those miners uh, gassed up throughout the whole base. Now this attack only works on CCs. I thought, well, I'm not going to say only works. I mean, I've seen it work on multiple CCs, but this is definitely not like your fresh attack because you want this to be a, you want this to be like a hound loon CC. So the hound doesn't do anything to miners. So you don't have to worry about that. The loon, will decimate your miners. So your poison spell is gonna have to be really, really, really crisp on this. And the key to that is not just poisoning the balloon, but poisoning the balloon for where it's going to be for the next, you know, 10 seconds. So Thunder is gonna show us an example of that, keeping that balloon inside of that poison spell. And as long as that balloon doesn't kill any of your miners or all of your miners, and you keep it inside that poison, you'll be safe. But that's the key to this attack okay so one last thing to look at just to find out if your base is really good for miners is recognizing that all these buildings inside the walls are all defenses so every building that goes down is huge value for your miners with hogs they skip over trash and uh you can kind of use the trash as like a, a pathway you know from defense to defense in a situation like this Hogs are just going to go everywhere because there's so many different options. You know, you're going to have hogs going like crisscrossing and coming through here. It's going to be very difficult. Plus, you can't deal with the enemy heroes with the hogs because nothing. Hogs obviously don't target heroes. Uh, there's nothing to kill any of those. So your hogs are just going to be taking a beating. They're going to be splitting. You're going to be panicking, trying to get, keep everything healed up. So a mass hog isn't really an option here. But with the miners... Everything kind of flows through in a wave. So you have your king and your queen coming this way. You know, your stone slammer coming in this way. Your miners hit this, hit this. Then they go on. Then they hit the next part. Then they go on. They're kind of like chomping the base down in lines. Everything stays online. You know, in the military, we have a thing, you know, get online. And uh, that's kind of how miners approach the base. So really good base identification here. Let's go ahead and get into the replay so I can stop rambling on and uh, show you how Thunder crushes his base. So early E-Drag, you're gonna see a couple, you know, uh, like an Archer over here. There's gonna be a Super Goblin over here at some point, maybe a Super Goblin over here. 
gets his king down early. Key factor for mass miners. You don't have a lot of time to wait, and miners are notoriously bad on time. So at the end of the base, they're all going to clump up, and they're all going to go all over the place. So getting your initial funnel set, then getting those miners going. Look, he's already got the miners in. He's on, the attack's only been going on for like 20 seconds. Miners are already in. Slammer's already in. Remember when I said we're attacking the base in a wave? So his miners right now are in the first part of the wave. This is coming down this way. This, everything's online. Now look at this poison. Poison catches the loon. Like I said, you want to make sure it's not just where the loon is, but where the loon is going to be for the next 10 seconds. Boom, loon goes down. Everything's still online. Now Eagle has a ton of HP, so you know Eagle takes a while. But look, everything's still online. Now everything's here. Even the queen. Now everything's moving to this, this line. Still got heals. He's just blanketing every, each line with a heal. Now this was clutch. He extends this heal out to the bomb tower and the inferno. So he keeps both groups alive. These miners are fine over here. And like I said, at the end of the base, miners always jump on top of each other. And you're just kind of praying for good splits. So he's got a good healthy group down here. He's got a couple over here. There's a hole in the base. And then a miner over here doing what you hope at least one of them does. And then, of course, you got the baby arch queen in training right there. Doing the Lord's work. Beating through a wall. So, I mean, it looked kind of close there at the end because of the infernos. But in reality, he's got a ton of miners left. Warden. Very nice attack from Thunder right there. So... Mass Miners, as you can see, definitely still viable. We're going to get into his next replay, which is going to be the same attack. Just a little bit different of a setup. No E-Drag, no none of that stuff. Same effect. Consequently, this guy's name is Toxic Thunder. So Thunder is bringing the Thunder to the Thunder. Alright, so what do I see on this base that makes it exploitable? Well, let's look for Dead Space. Dead Space here. Dead Space here. That's really the only dead space in the base. Again, the eagle, high priority for miners. However, this base is really, really wide for coming in like this. I mean, this is like, remember when I said miners, mass miners is kind of like two channels? Well, this is more like four because you have the one, the two, the one, the two. Yeah, so, I mean, you're going to want like a heel, a heel, heel. Like this would just be chaos coming through that direction so that direction is completely off the map right so you can't come directly in at the eagle so this is going to be your path and here is your dead space over here and here's your dead space over here so if you have the dead space on that side and it kind of forms a natural funnel what you're going to want to look at is how how do you add to that that advantage that you have in the base well if you take this out and you take this out Let's just say that's all you get. Now you can see that the base is a lot more tight. And you can not only get a good, you know, good minor path going here, but you can get a heal, maybe another heal, depending on how liberal you want to be with them. Then another heal, another heal, ending on this inferno tower. And then, you know, at the end of the base, things kind of go every different direction. So that's just something you got to kind of deal with. But... If miners make it through the back end of the base, generally you're pretty safe, especially if you have like 20 of them. Next part of the base identification, where is my high hit point area? And that is going to be here. This whole area, you got hero, hero, expo, 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 inferno, inferno on the back end, and clan castle. So a lot of HP, a lot of damage. So one way you can kind of negate that, again, getting your miners in quick. If I can get my miners up to this line... While my king and queen or something are over here. These expos are all tanking on the king and queen. My miners can just sneak in here under heal. And we're just going to go ahead and grab all this. And it's not going to be like. It's not going to really be an issue. And you're going to see that on this attack. That that area is not really an issue. The biggest issue is the eagle. Because with this dead space. Everything is kind of clearing in here. This is kind of risky. You don't really want to leave it up. But you're bringing 40 miners and 7 hogs. So like you're just kind of at that point. Hey, 
we're going to shoot for it and we're going to you know call it where it lands so hopefully we get it and then base identification you know this is my high highly likely area for teslas just because like this guy's not really trying to hide that everything here is high hit point and there's double spacing in between all the buildings so high highly likely that there's teslas somewhere in there and that's okay i mean it's not a big deal at all so we're gonna try to make the base into this channel here okay and we're gonna do that by exploiting the dead spaces and then creating pathing over here and you're gonna see again he's not waiting a long time to get his miners going he's gonna get his funnel going and then he's gonna get his miners in and everything's gonna work together and at the end of the base the majority of his troops and funnel troops are gonna be alive so not gonna spend too much time on this y'all get the you know it's a mass miner I get it it's not the most difficult thing in the world 40 miners seven hogs in the siege barracks ice golem wizard here comes the ice golem he's gonna get his queen down she's gonna go ahead and start picking up top of that funnel really the wizard tower and storages are ideal using the pekka and the king well the pekka out of the siege barracks and the king kind of at the town hall 11 this is huge because they do so much damage and look how early his miners are coming in queen's not taking any damage king's just now using his royal uh well his his ability Damn, I forgot what the Barbarian King's ability is called. So look, everything's online. Look where everything's at. Poison's the loon. Loon's sitting in that poison. Here come the hogs. They're going to clean up the side of the base. Now everything's online again. Go ahead and use that tome. Keep everything safe. Eagle shells. Like I said, that eagle's kind of an issue. But look, everything's online again. Even his queen. Everything keeps online. That's key in a minor attack. You want a nice spread, but you want everything online. And he has a ton of miners left up. I know it's kind of hard to see, but he has a lot of miners. And there's one hog over here. Going to get some support from these miners. But at this point, he's got a heal in the bag. And everything is online here. So this heal is really effective. He's going to be able to heal over here if he needs it. Or another heal like that. And I mean, he's got a ton of miners left. And that was with the eagle surviving the entire raid like a, i mean we kind of called the teslas here that was pretty obvious i don't think he was really trying to hide it look at all these miners huge group just with these mass miners you don't have a lot of cleanup so you have to get things going early you know you if you wait too long you're definitely going to time fail just one wizard's trying to ruin everything he had a good healthy sized group of miners over here as well yeah, so this base fell really, this is a really strong cleanup attack at Town Hall 11. Especially with those Hound Loom CCs, very easily exploitable. Kind of like old school Clash, where we used to just sui lalo everything with a Hound. But this one's uh, a little bit more spammy, but also involves some planning. Like, just because an attack is spam does not mean that the attack doesn't require planning and it doesn't require skill. It is, I would much rather as a clan leader have someone who can identify a base and say oh i can spam bowlers or miners or yetis or pekkas dragons i could just send everything from one spot and it would triple because i recognize that this base has weaknesses that allow me to do that i would much rather have that 10 out of 10 times than someone who says well i think if i do a queen charge here I think I should be able to get this, this, and this. And then I think if that happens, I'll be able to do this on the back end. That's way too risky to me. I'll take you throwing bowlers and yetis and miners at bases all day. Bring those three stars home. If anyone complains that you're using spam in your clan, just they're probably sucking and they're really just jealous, okay? I'm not a big yeti guy. I'm not a big spam guy. But best believe... I put those guys in war and I put them there for a reason okay it's skill and base reading so identifying those dead spaces I mean I'll just show you here on my home village I got quite a quite a bit of dead space here you can already see when you start like sketching these things out you know uh, if I did like a blimp or something in here you know it's off the cuff I, I, I can get some blimp value here 
maybe walk my queen down this way, get that off, then I have a really good channel. You know, try to get some stuff through the base. Now, obviously at 13, it takes a little bit more planning and, you know, heal, heal, freeze, freeze or whatever. But, you know, you're just going to identify those base. It really does help to just draw it out. Uh, I know sketch is kind of monotonous and it's more of like an old school thing. But if you can really just draw these things out, especially if you're struggling, and you're really trying to break something down. Just this building's going to go down to this troop X. This building's going to go down to this troop X. This building... Oh, my troops aren't going to go here because there's no buildings there. X. Once you start drawing it out, you can really, really start identifying a base. And that's what it's all about. So, like I said, guys, if you're at Town Hall 11 and you're looking for a place to rock and roll, cold September is exactly what you're looking for. Check the link in the description. Click there. Get in cold September. We're in MLCW and we're going to be in CWL next season. Thank you guys so much for the support. Like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, give me a comment, tell me what you want to see. You know, I can pretty much do everything in this game, not bragging, but I've, I'm decent enough at a, a little bit of everything where I can bring you whatever kind of content that you're looking for. And if you are interested in joining War Whales, of course, in your Town Hall 13, we don't take 12s or 11s, that link is also in the description. So head on over, bring your A game though, because... We're not accepting just regular old garbage. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Thank you to my beautiful wife. You're the best. She's going to edit these two videos that I'm releasing in the next two days because my daughter has a birthday. And she is not going to be caught at the computer for a couple of hours while it's our baby girl's birthday. So you guys take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow.